Hi guys, my name is Krista Lancy and I'm known as the encourager. I love to make content to encourage others and because I like to share what God has um, sent to me to encourage me. So I know this is for somebody, it was for me and it's not only for me. So I just want to thank God for what he does through me and inside of me and I just thank him for the Holy Spirit for being my words and for me learning to get to know the Holy Spirit and let him cleanse me and work through me. In Yeshua's name, amen. Um, I wanted to come on here and encourage someone. I feel like I've been going through such a transition and it's not just me, even everyone around me. And it's been tough. And it hasn't been easy and one of the things that have been told to me is to continue to surrender and continue to let go of what of the old and embrace the new and I know for me I, I feel so much comfort and warmth and and I get I make things so sentimental sentimental and I hold on so tight and I don't let go but this has been the journey since I said yes to God, since God has came in my life and and since the Holy Spirit has been working through me is one thing that I had to learn was surrender, surrender, surrender. When you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go, surrender. That has been one of the hardest things, but I'm learning little by little to surrender and to let go and let God. Um, I, I feel like in order to learn this, you do get to ask God to clear your heart pathways, cause that's what I that's what I did since I started this journey and you ask God to speak to you and if there's feelings that are coming up for you you know ask God to give you some clarity about it like why am I feeling this way I don't want to feel this way how can I not feel this way um and the Holy Spirit will definitely answer and speak to you I know for me I'm always going to bring this up Jeremiah 29 11 when he said plans to prosper you that that was the word playing inside my head like a record like a broken record it kept over and over and over and in that moment that was the holy spirit encouraging me and in that moment is exactly what i needed and maybe you need that maybe you need to hear plans to prosper you maybe this has been a tough a tough transition and you lost a lot along the way but God is the Redeemer and He's the Resurrector and He's here to give you everything that was stolen from you. In the Bible it says that the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. And God is going to do the opposite of that. He's going to bless you and give you everything that was stolen from you back and more. He is the God of abundance. He is not the God of death. He is the God of the opposite of what death is. And that's evermore why you shouldn't give up. And another thing that God has been pressing me about is meeting him in the secret place. And I don't know about for you, but I know that he wakes me up in the middle of the night so he can give me words so he can speak to me and and he downloads stuff to me and i have been having such a hard time staying awake i keep telling myself no i'm too tired and i go back to sleep and he had gave me a word in the middle of the night and i could not remember it and i was beating myself up about it and i was like dang it i should have stood awake why why do i keep telling myself i'm tired and um and I was beating myself up a lot about it but there was also an, another thing that was being told to me and it was to meet people where they are 
you might be in a space where you have grown so much and you have surrendered so much that you have gotten to this space where you are feeling so healed, feeling so like you know so much now. You have so much wisdom and knowledge that all you want to do is pour into others. And sometimes that looks like dropping a seed. That doesn't look like, hey, I'm telling you this and you want to see results right away. Sometimes it's you say it and you leave it with them. And I had to learn that lesson this week. And I am so grateful to God um, that he always uses my coach, Kim. She is my mentor. I love her so much. She has been through this journey with me since <laughs> since I did All True. And that was my transformation workshop, which I'm going to do tonight, like in person. So I'm excited. Um, it was her. Like... He always uses her. She is an amazing coach. I mean, she asks, she listens, and she asks questions on what she hears me say. And it brings me so much clarity. And I am so inspired by her. Like, I want to be that person for someone, you know? Like, I want to be that person to help bring clarity because bringing clarity and in, or into your thoughts into your mind is just such a blessing and i know one of the scriptures that came to me last week was i believe it's in second corinthians and i can't remember exact number but i know it says um cap uh captivate my thoughts and make them obey christ and that really stuck with my spirit. And I know another thing that has been coming up for me is actually being aware and knowing that, you know, I'm in the midst of my season. I'm on this journey. And, and, and when I'm feeling down and when I'm not feeling okay, I ask the Holy Spirit for help. But I also lift up my spirit with God's words. And that was really something that was a repetitive thing for me. So when I found out that I make my thoughts captive to obey Christ, it meant so much because when it just shows how much God is intervening and when we let him intervene, how he can help us sh shape and shift and and learn and grow and and shift us out of those low vibration feelings of sadness, anger, pain, and help us understand it. it. It helps us know that we're not alone. And that has meant everything for me because I feel like during COVID, everyone felt alone. You could still, you can be in a room full of so many people and still feel alone. But when we make God our number one and we come to him first with everything that we have he knows how to transform that he knows how to give you a hug you know when someone sends you a virtual hug the holy spirit will wrap his arms his i'm gonna say he or she because i feel like god is both <laughs> when you get like he can wrap his arms around you and make you feel that comfort and that peace of god that probably a human can't do for you and I feel like I've just been on that journey to understand my worth and new truths. And that's what has come to me. New truths. I have let go of old stories and old truths that were a part of my identity. A part of who I thought I was. And one of them was doing everything alone. And I chose to give that up. I chose to to leave that truth and and grab onto a new truth a new truth that i'm not alone that god has everything i need that everything i need is inside of me and that it's okay to ask for help it's okay to ask for help oh my gosh when i took grasp on this truth I was in my grieving period about my mom losing her and it made me make some crazy decisions but it opened me. I was so open to being helped. 
I knew something was not okay. Even though my husband was telling me, you're not okay. You know, I didn't accept it at first, but then I knew something was not okay. And, you know, I made crazy decisions to go to New Mexico with a lady that I just met. And we knew, we were taking a, a course together. And it was such a learning experience. But what I'm trying to say here is sometimes you're not going to have someone pouring into your cup the way you pour into others. Sometimes, all the time, you got to go to God and, 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 and he gives you the wisdom and knowledge through the Bible to be able to pour it. That he can pour it through you with his words. His words are living and breathing and alive. The Holy Spirit is alive. He's a, per he's a person. He, she is a person. And when you call on those words and you meditate on them and you, when you read the Bible, you're eating, you're speeding, you're feeding your spirit. When you start feeding your spirit, your spirit starts to strengthen. And through transition and through this journey, you need, not need, not need, you get to feed your spirit with God's words. You get to fill yourself with that so your spirit can glow strong so god can grow through you use you and so that you can be sustained through anything i mean anything literally god can sustain you through anything everyone else will be going through a hard time but he will sustain you if you stay in him i know in one of the scriptures it says that he is your shadow and he keeps you under his wing I don't know. When I think of that, I think of an angel with big wings covering me to protect me. And I see the white feathers. That's what I think of. And I'm so grateful that God has, he's so abundant. He's so abundant. Like he uses his angels. He uses his Holy Spirit. He uses Yeshua Christ. There is just... It's just when you open your eyes to so many things, God is there the whole time. You were never alone. And I think like when I found out that truth, that lit up my heart. So I guess my message here is don't give up. You're in a transition. If you're watching this video right now, there's a reason. Something in this video is for you. I let the Holy Spirit be my words. And I'm sharing what has helped me to get through this week. Just Not just only through this week, but through my journey, bits and pieces. And um, stay strong. Speak to your spirit. Take a scripture and keep um, keep eating it. Keep saying it, keep saying it, keep eating it, keep writing it. Keep doing those things to let God be your strength. It says that Christ and God, Christ, I think Christ is our strength and our weakness. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be strong. We don't have to do all the work by ourselves. God intervenes and his Holy Spirit produces the Holy Spirit's fruits in us. And every day we become more like Christ Yeshua. A blessing. We become kind and loving and compassionate. And our heart that was once full of stones has turned into flesh. It's... It's a beautiful transition. Whoever this is for, I love you. God loves you. And don't give up. Just keep feeding your spirit. Listen to gospel music. Read your Bible. Buy a Bible. I still have to buy a Bible because I haven't got one for myself. I want to get the Passion Translation. Um... Anyway, you guys got this. You can do this. You can do this. You can fight another day. Worry about today. 
don't worry. Just be in today. Today is the day that God has made, so rejoice in it. Why worry about tomorrow? Tomorrow has its own worries. There's so many scriptures. There's so many things that God tells us. And it's all starting to make sense. And he will open your eyes to the thing, to those things so they can make sense when they need to make sense for you. We all need to come together in this time. And keep each other in our prayers. Keep each other in our conversations. Keep encouraging each other. Don't give up on each other. And continue to let God surrender. Continue to surrender. Continue to surrender. Continue to surrender. That's what keeps coming to my spirit. Continue to surrender. Surrender and trust God and you will see the transformation that happens in your life. You will see that you are okay. You are going to be just fine. You are going to be not fine. You're going to be great in God. And he's always going to be there for you no matter what. All you have to do is tap in. Tap in. Stay tapped in. How about that? Stay tapped in. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, you guys can message me. You guys can DM me. I'm always here. I love replying to um, people and hearing your opinions and hearing just who you are and what you're going through and know that you're not alone. Um, again, I love you guys. Have a great day.